it's like, wait, did that just really happen? Yeah, it really fucking happened. I'm just sitting here uploading and doing whatever it is that I do to try to get everybody the same fucking message. I'm hypoxic nation. Um, and my son, my little one, um, uh, Anthony Tiafrio the third on his birth certificate. Calendar of the Mayan end of the calendar season being, uh, 2012, uh, birth date. So he, uh, calls me on the phone from my mom's house phone, 718-423-0186. And he says, uh, mom, can you come help me? I'm like, what's the matter? He's like, dad won't let me have the controller for the game machine. He keeps playing with it. He says it's because I didn't read, but I did. Now, when I was in there earlier, I heard my father sitting with Louis Cataruza. One thing he's really good at is reading books to kids. So I'll give him those kudos. So he was reading books with Nucci when I walked in and out earlier. So I made note of it, whatever. So, um... Now he calls me. So now he needs now Anthony, Big Anthony, meaning the shitbag from 1975, cross-dresser, the Erlin, Ber Irving Berlin heroin addict. Um, he gets in these modes. I mean, Alexander James and Benjamin used to really fucking get angry. They're like, uh, uh, Benjamin especially, because he's like Nicklaus. He's, he's like, ooh, what happened? Yeah, he's, his, he's, he's got Nicklaus's temper and fucking strength and like, wait, and like, wait, what do you, what do you mean you're coming after her? And it's like, like one of those. And that's what Benjamin used to do about Anthony, because he fucking hated him. And I'm like, I get it, Ben. So I used to have to separate the two of them, because it was like a fucking boxing match I wasn't in the mood for. Um, and, but then I'm like, you know what, Ben? I was like, you just grab Alexander James and just take him away from Tia Frail. I don't want him anywhere near Tia Frail. And Alexander fucking hates Tia Frail. But they love their brother because he's just the same mother, just the other brother. Like, Nucci's their real brother. They have a sister to Jason and fucking Danielle. But even when they, I was pregnant, I got pregnant two months after Danielle got pregnant. Um, mine was complete by accident. I did not want to fucking get pregnant again with this fucking asshole. I just couldn't get him out of my fucking life. So, um... Um, and Jason and Danielle were married by that point. No, nobody gives a shit. So, um, um, so the boys and I had a conversation. They bring it up. I never try to stir up trouble between me, between the two families. Because I know as a savior and a Christ and as a goddess figure that Jason doesn't know and my children don't know. That every word I say has an impact in a cascading effect elsewhere. And I don't want, like, I want Nicklaus, and I want my, my, my godson, uh, Alexander, to be raised by Nicklaus as quickly as fucking possible, without causing too many fucking daggers, because I got a transsexual in my fucking life I can't get rid of, who does drugs and has a whole lot of other fucking habits, but I gotta keep it away from the children and myself, because I'm a real, like, professional businesswoman elsewhere, and nobody knows, but never wants to go home to him, but I want to go home and spend time with my kids, yeah, it was really fucking hard to explain that to work, but anyway... Um, so here we are, and, um, Benjamin was always the little daddy. That's always how I put him. But they, he, they said to me, they're like, well, here's the thing. If, this is what Alexander actually said. He said, I don't, can you explain this to me? He's like, they're telling me that dad's kid is going to be my sister, but sh Daniel's not my mom. You're my mom, and your baby's going to be my brother. He's like, why does dad keep saying that Danielle is going to have a baby that'll be my sister? Why, why does he keep doing that? Is that right? I'm like, well, that's one of those technically, I don't know. I was like, uh, here's the thing. You focus on how much you love the brothers that I brought into this world and the new one. And when you go over to dad's, you don't say anything to hurt his feelings. First of all, we'll have that, you know, you talk to me privately. Uh, and I don't need the headache between him thinking that I said something, whatever. I was like, but when you go over there, you wait for the baby. And you just, you be happy for dad. Just be happy for dad. And if you want to think that you just have another brother and whatever, great. And that's it. Because your brother's going to come out and be exactly like you because he came from your mother. Uh, and then, of course, like, what I don't tell him is, like, your mother's a goddess. But 
and that's confirmed by your government and everybody else. They just don't tell your dad because your dad fucking raped me, saddled me into a life I didn't want fucking want or ask for and sold me to fucking slavery. But he wasn't consciously aware of it, but other people were. So how do you explain that to your kid? Especially when you don't want your godson to be, like, fucked up in the head. So you just stay quiet. So this way, the back op will get the death book committee to fucking hit the right high-value fucking targets and just fucking come for me. And, like, let's just be Johnny Lasagna and Garfield and Odie and Odie and I all together and grab Alexander and go, yeah, 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 okay, we're good. I mean, what the fuck was so hard with that? It is really that fucking easy at my level. And your level if you're with me.